Hi there, this is Robin Armbrecht with Really Robin Stamps. Today is April 9th, 2021, and you are joining me for my Friday crafting play dates. I usually like to go live on Fridays around one in the afternoon. And whether you're joining me live today or catching this later, I'm just so thankful that you are here and you are willing and ready to learn something new today. Um, I have to first give a shout out to my mom and dad who are celebrating their 55th wedding anniversary today. Isn't that awesome? Um, congratulations, mom and dad. It was great to celebrate with you last week and I hope that you're having a special day today. All right, so I have for you today a simple card template. It's a gorgeous day outside today, so we're gonna get this done today and um, get on with some other Friday fun things. So let me flip the camera around and you can see where we're headed today. Hello, Lynn. Thank you for joining me today. All right, Lynn says it's their 38th anniversary today. Well, this is a lucky day then. Con congratulations to you. All right, let me pull you guys up on Facebook, hopefully. There we are. I want to see your all your comments. Hey, Lisa, awesome to see you today, virtually. Oh, it's a great anniversary day. That's exciting. All right. There we go. We're going to be all set. Hey, Sue, you're catching me live today. You're usually going live at the same time. So glad you're here, too. All right, you can see what we're gonna to use today. I had to pull out this gorgeous um, fine art floral designer series paper and the art gallery bundle, but I am gonna show you just a very simple template today. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, first, while everybody's joining, I want to show you some of the fun mail I've gotten from friends this past couple weeks, some Easter cards. First, I'm gonna show you this gorgeous Easter card from my friend Jill. And she is using a past um, tulip set that I remember, and I remember this paper as being just one of my all-time favorite um, designer series papers. It's like seeing an old friend when you get to um, pull out and see past papers, right? So I love this. And she put, I don't know if you can see it, but she put a little shimmer on those tulips, they're so beautiful. So thank you, Jill, I love that Easter card. And then my friend um, Sherry, she made me this fun Easter card um, using some fun little dies. And look at that, how fun is that little card? Oops, closed it the wrong way. Love it, Sherry, I love every single one of your cards and I keep them so much, I just love them. All right, and then I got this very special package today from Sue, and you're watching. I'm so glad you're watching when I get to show this. We did a template a couple weeks ago, and it was called a four pocket um, album, card album is what I called it. And so she made me one, which is so awesome because I've been making these things like crazy. And fit, whoops, your belly band didn't really survive the mail all that um, well, Sue, but that's okay. I haven't tried to re-adhere it yet. Anyway, it's got that cute little um, Berry Blessings paper that she used. Look at how fun this is. And she used um, a previous, um, a retired Memories and More um, little cards and put little stickers on there for me. I was so blessed to get this in the mail, Sue. Thank you so much. Um, as demonstrators, we every time we have an event, Stampin' Up! gives us these little pins now. And um, I had shared one with Sue because her team is called the um, Super Snails, I believe. And so we had a snail pin that she didn't end up getting. So we can, they're like trading pins, kind of like, you know, Disney or whatever. So um, she sent me this cute little 
um, baby shark one back. Isn't that adorable? So now I can put that in my little pin collection. I am so thrilled that I got this, Sue. Thank you so much. All right, so there is my friend mail to share. I should show you just one more thing. Uh, real quick, just since we were talking about these, I went on vacation um, last week and I had some time to stamp some other product um, projects and um, I brought out this paper from Celebration also, Paper, paper Blooms, and I made a little baby album for my brother-in-law and sister-in-law who just had a baby. I just, this project, I can't stop making them. They're just so much fun to make and to personalize for people. So um, thanks Sue for making that and just a fun, fun project. If you haven't seen seen this one, go back um, for a couple of weeks and um, you can go to my YouTube channel, it's on there too. All right, what else? Let's get going. So this is what we're using today. So let's bring out our paper. And what I wanted to share with you, so here is um, kind of a black and white picture of my card template for today. So these are basically like recipes for cards that are just supposed to kind of help you um, dive in and create, you know, create on your own with what you have. So I really love using the templates. So what I've been trying to do since... Um, since the new year started is to kind of put out a template every month. So in January, I featured this template, which I haven't made one of these black and white templates yet. That's on my to-do list. Um, but I do have directions on my blog. It's called a three layer squares card, but I'm basically calling that template number one. Okay. So this was a, um, a way to feature designer series paper in small amounts. So we, um, we used this card with my free celebration class in January, but it's a great template. If you've just got some bits and pieces of coordinating designer series paper, you can layer them together with a, a tiny little greeting and do a stamping. So this is template number one. And so um, I have a resource library on my blog now that I've been working on really hard. And it's just basically called Free Resource Library. And it has um, pictures and then it has these directions. So you can find that. And then there's another page that's gonna be called Card Templates and it'll have these, all right? So you can kind of find stuff in two ways. Then the second template that um, I thought was really cool was this this design here and so basically the black and white is just showing you the different colors of or the, I'm sorry the different sizes of designer series paper that you need and kind of where your focal point sits and where your um, greeting goes and so um, these were created um, I think in February so that's card template number two so today is card template number three um, this is the one that coordinates with this. So again, these are both on my um, my website. You can at reallyrobinstamps.com. You can find those. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on today's template. This template's really fun because it's a um, it's a panel card that you cut the long way, and it really features a nice big piece of designer series paper in the back. And then it has a coordinating strip that goes across it. So it gives a really nice visual, um, what do you want to say? It's just a really nice visually pleasing design. And then there's a pop of white with the greeting. And then of course you can add your little um, embellishments and um, accents onto it. So the butterflies are just representing those pieces. All right, so here's how it's going to go together. I'm gonna put in my paper cutter. So I'm gonna cut um, two, we're gonna make two cards. We're gonna make one simple and we're gonna step one up. So uh, my friend Sue here, I saw her do this on her blog. It's the most brilliant thing ever. So before you um, cut your whole piece of cardstock in half, um, if you score it where it needs to be scored first before you cut it, then you only have to score at one time, which I love. So since this is a 
panel card, I scored it first at five and a half, and then I'm gonna cut it at four and a quarter. So I've got two cards, and now they're already scored exactly where they need to be, right there. All right, so we're done with the paper cutter. So let's fold these. Like that. And like that. All right, so here's our first card. So basically what you need is designer series paper that is um, three inches by five and a half inches. So it's gonna go down the whole center of the card. And then you need a piece of coordinating designer series paper that's four inches by one and a half inches. And then you need a greeting piece that is two and a half inches by one inch. So it's just gonna be that kind of pop right there. All right, so let's put this together. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the embellishment. Oh, I wanna show you this too, because, so my card designs you're gonna to see today are kind of using a very um, bold or like the more busy side of the designer series paper on the front of the card, but you can totally make this template work for you by using, you know, flipping the sides of the cardstock around, it just, it, it ends up turning out so beautiful no matter how you do it. So I just encourage you to cut up some um, packages of designer series paper and play with it. Hello, Wanda. How's it going, Wanda? I hope you're healing. Now, when you center this onto the front of the card, there's gonna be about five eighths of an inch on each side. You could measure, I'm just eyeballing it. And mine just extended a little bit, so I'm gonna cut that off. Like that. All right, and then this piece here, we're gonna just put across, and we're just gonna lay it about an inch or so up. But I mean, honestly, you can move it around. This is just kind of the general template, and this is, again, four inches by one and a half, so there's gonna be about a quarter of an inch on each side, like that. There's something very just visually pleasing about kind of the, the papers crossing like that. This is gonna be the greeting. So I'm going to bring in my Memento Black and one of the greetings from the art gallery stamp set that says you are lovely. And then we're going to pop this up. Hello, Shannon and Jacob. So sweet of you to join me today. All right, so we're gonna pop the greeting up like that. All right, so that's the, the basic um, template, and now we're gonna add our focal point to it. So I'm going to bring in um, the stamp set that coordinates with this whole suite of products, and I'm going to stamp this two-step flower here. Actually, it's a three-step flower. And I'm going to use the Stamparatus and show you kind of a fun little way to make your life easier. So here are our pieces that we're gonna stamp. that set up. Now, I guess I really need to use the Big Shop, uh, the stamp and cut Mephoss machine first. So I'm gonna grab a piece of white paper. Let's bring the stamp and cut emboss machine in here. Oops, there we go. So I named my machine uh, Mrs. Cut Boss, as you know, because um, she is the boss. I use her all the time, and she is she's like an amazing assistant to have in your stamping room, right? So I just decided I was going to give her a name. All right, so now I've cut out one of these. Oh, I did this backwards. Okay, hold on. All right, here's what I was gonna show you. 
Okay. All right. So this is a helpful technique. I'm going to back up here for a second. If you're going to stamp multiples of these flowers, which I did earlier today. Um, so what you do is you set up your, your flower design um, and you layer it together on the, um, on the plates so that you can re-stamp it over and over again. All right, so let's pick this up first like that okay and i'm gonna i'm just repositioning if that moves i'm gonna reposition it right here at this square all right so this first layer of the flower is going to be so saffron all right so we'll ink that one all right now i'm going to position the second layer right on top so i can get exactly where i want it this flower um, has a little white space in the middle, so it makes it really easy to line up over and over again. I'm gonna pick that up with the second plate. Make sure my paper didn't wiggle. And then I'm going to use a darker yellow called Bumblebee to stamp the second layer. Like that. All right, so there's our two-step flower. And then I'm going to bring in terracotta tile because that's also one of the colors in this um, suite of papers. And I'm going to use the small piece right in the center to give it that kind of beautiful center. Okay, now I'm going to cut it out. All right, so I'm just I'm showing you this way that um, makes it easier if you're going to um, stamp a bunch of these and you really only want to line up the image one time, um, and then you can just keep stamping it over and over again and get a perfect perfect stamp. All right, so now we'll cut this out. All right, so now I have one for my card, which we're gonna add in just a second. But let me show you now what you can do once you have this lined up. So now I'm gonna put this right back where it was, centered on that corner, and hold it down with the magnets, like that. So now what I can do is I can take this die and I can just run it through um, the cut and emboss machine over and over again and just cut out a bunch of white um, paper in the flowers, okay? Um, and this just makes it easier because you don't have to line this up around your image, you know, over and over again, especially if you're making multiples. If you're just doing one card, you don't need to do that. But now I can just set that right back into um, the hole where I cut it out of and do my stamping again. So I'll do So Saffron, and then I'll do Bumblebee. Like that. And so it lines up perfectly, and you get that nice, perfect edge. So you can literally just reposition, plop another one in here, stamp it in So Saffron, and then stamp the darker color. You can just keep doing this over and over again, and then you've got just a quick, a quick way to make multiples like that. Okay, we'll take this um, stamparatus away. Let's finish these with the center piece, which is the terracotta color. Okay, so we're done stamping. All right, so now we're gonna add this to the front of our card. We're gonna pop it up with the dimensional. Hello, Judy. How's everyone doing today? Is anybody, um, gardeners out there, if you are a gardener, has anybody um, cleaned out their garden beds yet or working on their landscaping 
let me know what you're doing with your gardening. Okay, so I'm going to set this right here. I'm going to pop it up to give it some dimension. And then we're going to just give it a simple embellishment. Because remember, this is just a simple, quick card. So I'm going to pull in some of these gold glitter enamel dots. And we'll just pick them up with the take your pick tool. I'm going to put one right there in the center of the flower. And then this one's nice. This um, set is really nice because there's three sizes of these dots. So you can make lovely little combinations. And I just always think in triangles. So um, if I've got those two, then I need to put one over here. Or I need to put one up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one down there like that, just to kind of give it a nice little visual triangle. So there's <clears throat> our simple version of this card template. All right, so let me show you just a couple other um, versions, okay? Because as you know, once I once I make something, then I like kind of go crazy and I, I have to make a bunch of them. So um, I took out this um, For All Seasons, I think it's called, um, designer series paper and used a tulip and one of the little, um, little ladybugs. And I did the similar card with the ladybug and then I used the dragonflies. And then I used another version of this paper with a little rose set and some stripes. So, I mean, basically you just need to find two pieces of designer series paper that coordinate together um, and then figure out which one you want in the back and which one you want in the front. So here is one with You Are So Amazing. Well, um, stamp set that's in the January to June uh, mini catalog. So on this one, I put the greeting in the middle instead of overlapping it, but you can see how when you overlap it, um, it like it ties all of the pieces together, right? So it's like it, it covers up that line and it just brings your eyes right to the middle, just slightly differently than this. I mean, this looks fine, but if you're just kind of thinking from a design perspective, um, when you when you overlap things like that. All right, and then here are two more. One is with the hydrangea um, hill suite and then this is with the well-suited um, paper added a little ribbon all right this is the workshop card of the month so if you have a party um, this month this will be one of the projects all right so this is kind of your basic design so let me just show you some ways we'll make the same card again but we're just going to step it up a little bit add a few more oops i forgot one here's one with the true love um, designer series paper. It's just very simple, black and white. Ends up being so stunning, doesn't it? Okay, I'll bring those back out again. All right, so here's our simple version. So let's go ahead and make a stepped up version. So there's lots of ways you can step something up once you've got kind of some, a simple, simple version. One very easy way is to just add extra layers. All right, so we've got three um, pieces, but we could just add on this first version, but we can add a couple more layers. So we can add another coordinating piece of cardstock. We can um, go ahead and add a matte piece to that. And again, that adding that blue back on top is gonna like pull your eyes right up through the paper because of your card bases pull party. And then you mount this greeting, which will be the kind of the focal point, kind of pulls your eyes up. So that's one way. So we're going to put this together, but first I'm going to run this through an embossing folder because that's going to add another little step it up to our card. So I'm going to take those plates away and bring in my embossing plate. And then I'm going to use the um, embossing folder that coordinates with this paper. It's called Painted Texture. And it's a 3D folder, so it gets it nice and gives it a lot of dimension. So I'm going to run that through. Okay. 
And now this is going to be probably hard to see on camera because this paper already is very um, detailed, but this adds that beautiful texture now also to that paper. So it's going to just make everything look even, even sweeter. All right, so let's attach this to our extra background layer. So this is terracotta tile that I put on the back and then we'll put that on the card front. I think that a lot of times, um, a lot of people struggle with making simple cards, which is one other reason why I love the templates because it'll kind of just help you, especially if you feel like you're stuck um, in a rut and you're kind of making the same design over and over again, it'll help you to kind of get out of that and then um, think about you know, different ways you can use your paper. Because I think it's really easy to, to just keep adding things to a card, but that doesn't always necessarily make it better. Sometimes it does, um, but then sometimes you just, you know, it's too much after a while. All right, so I'm gonna use this greeting. Again, the You Are Lovely. This is actually gonna be a birthday card for my daughter. She's having a birthday this weekend. I don't know how she got to be so, so old because I don't, I don't think I've aged at all, right? All right, so that's gonna add another layer there. Put this piece on. So you could also emboss with an embossing folder on this other piece to add extra layer of dimension. So that's gonna go there. You could also, instead of using this rectangular shape, you could use a punch for your greeting or you could use a die, um, keeping you know with something that's kind of the same rectangular shape to go with the flow of the card, but you could make it a little more detailed by using a die. And then of course you can just add more embellishments the dimensionals. You can add more um, ribbon, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to, after we put this greeting on, I'm going to pull out the fine art ribbon and I'm just going to slide that underneath here just to give it a little more shimmer. that and we'll add a little more texture by fraying the ends this this particular ribbon comes unraveled very easily on the end so it's really nice um, if you want it to look frayed to just cut a little bit extra off pull that metallic cord out and then you've got beautiful little fringed ends so let's use some glue dots to add that underneath the greeting. So it's just gonna add an extra layer and another little uh, shimmery layer that will kind of step it up. Like that. All right, so, oops, I was supposed to do this. I was supposed to let this sit. Okay, well, we're gonna, um, we're gonna just make it work. All right, so we're gonna put the same flower on there, but I'm gonna add some of the gold leafing to it. So the best way to do this is two different ways. You can use your liquid glue um, and then let it dry, which was what I was intending to do was to let it dry. Um, but I'm just gonna show you the process. The other thing that you can do is you could stamp um, something um, another image, for example, you could use this centerpiece again, stamp it in Versamark, and then use the heat and stick powder and emboss that. So it's going to just leave it tacky in the same kind of shape. And then that is the other way that's really good to add this gold leafing. So I'm going to do the um, liquid glue and I'm just going to put a really thin layer on, just kind of mimic that. And then I'm going to Use my heat tool real quickly and let that dry.
All right, that's pretty good. There's just one little clump there that I'm just gonna kind of smear off there. So when this glue is completely dry, it just makes it tacky, like a repositionable glue, just like the heat and stick powder does. So it's another great option for adding um, this leafing. So this leafing comes in this great little jar and it is like compressed in there with these beautiful little flakes that are like, um, they're kind of like fish food is what I, I think they're like. And so you just pull out the flakes and then you lay them on top of your adhesive, whether it's heat and stick powder or the two-way glue. And you kind of just go over until you don't feel any sticky anymore. All right, and then the two tools that you need, you need a sponge and then you need a paintbrush of some kind. And the paintbrush you use first, and that's just kind of brush off the bigger flakes that didn't stick. I'm gonna brush that right back into your container, like that. And it's actually, you know, really good to go right now, but if you want to get all the fine detail of an image, especially if you stamped it, then you use, you follow up with the sponge and you burnish with your sponge like that. And then that really kind of buffs it and takes off all the extra. So now we've got this nice little gold center here. So let's put this on our card, our stepped up card. I keep losing the dimensionals, here they are. Like that. Now we could go ahead and put the gold um, glimmer dots on there, that would be beautiful, but I'm just gonna show you one more thing that you can do with um, the leafing and that is you can make your own gold dots um, by using glue dots. So I'm just going to reveal a glue dot and then I'm going to hopefully put it down where I want it, right there. All right, so now I've got a glue dot there. I'm going to go ahead and do three. put one, remember our triangle, so we'll put one over here. And then we'll put one more down here. So this is gonna like kind of just bring that gold right down. So I don't know if you can see those glue dots on there, but I'm just going to now put the leafing right on top of them. like that and then we'll brush it off first get those big flakes off and then we'll take the sponge and just kind of burnish it see how when you burnish it it just gets really shiny shinier I mean it's shiny but it gets even shinier when you do that so now I've got these lovely little homemade little um, gold flex on there. Let's close that up. All right, so that's just a couple ways you can step up a version of this card. So you've got just kind of a basic, um, the basic template, and then um, we stepped it up with our embossing and adding some extra embellishment with this ribbon and then adding kind of the gold, um, the accent, the leafing. And so we've got a stepped up version. Now, one of the other things you can do is put the gold leafing on a piece of tear tape. So um, this card just has a piece of tear tape that went all the way down and then I added the leafing there as well and these are glue dots also and this is the difference here i actually stamped this center piece here this center stamp i stamped it in heat and stick powder so you can see how it turns out a little bit differently when you use the heat and stick powder now i had to i literally when i pulled out this beautiful 
um, fine art floral designer series paper today. I just was like, I, of course I had to try it with all of these cards because it's so pretty. So I kind of did the stepped up version of all of these different cards and the beautiful colors. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is a great suite. Um, if you don't want to get the stamp set though, get this paper. This paper, I think you'll you'll just enjoy using a lot. What do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? Do you have a favorite out of all of these? I showed you way too many. But look at all these. I just, I love templates because it just really is inspiring. All you have to do is kind of get out the um, designer series paper and then get out a stamp set that kind of goes with it and boom you find a greeting and you've got just some really easy cards to play with so i sure hope that you try this card template i will have all of these cards posted on my website blog later this afternoon with the template that you can download and keep for your um, pile and so there you go, quick and easy card template for today. My only reminder to you is that the Last Chance Products sale only goes till May 3rd, so we are just have a couple of weeks left for anything that might be retiring that you might need, so make sure you give that one more look over. Um, Hostess code is new for April, and when you purchase, um, for every $40 you purchase, you're gonna get half a pack any color you want, that would be 12 full sheets of cardstock. So you can just tell me um, what color you want and you'll get a half a pack um, for every $40. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you um, have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye.